A First Nations protest movement is quietly spreading across the country. It's called Idol No More. And though the demands are old, it has the feeling of something new. The CBC's Adrian Arsenault is on this tonight. It is as it seems, close enough to see Parliament Hill, but too far to feel a part of it. Now, where better than to hold a protest about political detachment? Chief Theresa Spence of Attawapiskat. She sounded the alarm last year for a community in danger. Now she's going further, eight days into a hunger strike. That's all about resetting the relationship between the government and First Nations communities. We're saying that this government it's so hard to see when he's mean and aggressive. Her demands? A meeting with the highest powers in the land. She says she'll starve until it happens. I'm wanting to you know, die for my people. One woman, but not one protest. One of dozens popping up across Canada, on highways, on legislature steps, in city centers, even flash mobs at malls. These are actions rooted in problems generations old, including the desire to protect the land and resources from grabbing hands. But what's happening now is organized quickly and organized online. I don't know more is the Twitter handle, fueling a movement that has a whiff of Occupy. Watching the conversations track across Canada, the reach seems wide. Self-determination or self-termination, writes one. This is our time. We must stand together, says another. I heard last night that it was tr trending. Behind the concept of idle no more, women learning new respect for social media's capacity to engage. I think what makes this different is that it, it spans across all communities, all demographics, all across Canada and internationally. The faces and now the images of the movement created by a young man who says he never considered himself political until he saw the I don't know more conversations online. The feather, the fist, the smartphone. It seems he's on to something, getting requests from indigenous communities globally. Brazil, uh, Puerto Rico, uh, people in LA, they've been able to connect with, connect with it as well. Now I don't know more's next big day, if you will, is Friday with events planned across Canada and in spots around the world and if the turnout is what they suggest it will be and hope it will be, then it's possible that this might just be the beginning of something. Peter? All right, Adrian, thanks very much. Adrian Arsenal.